One, two, two, three, and we did it! Sarah Bonice, the acting director of Child, Youth, and School Services, directing some young volunteers last week and breaking ground on two new child development centers. CDC's 4 and 5 will be constructed at the intersection of Ernie Pyle and 5th Streets. That's just around the corner from the Kimbrough Ambulatory Care Center. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. I'm Brian Spen. Also on this edition, take a tour of the New Exchange Mall, some important reminders from MWR, and some news from TRICARE. These stories and more. But first, as our young volunteers move Earth, Fort Mead observed Earth Day 2014 Wednesday at the Fort Mead Pavilion. But before things got started, Fort Meade's Environmental Division received the All-Army Restoration Team Award from Deputy Assistant Secretary of the Army, Hugh Wolfe. The Fort Meade Installation Restoration and Military Munitions Response Program Team is comprised of Paul Fluck, George Knight, Denise Tagmeyer, and Aaron McKinley. The team partnered with federal and state agencies and the local community to accomplish significant restoration efforts using innovative technologies and management techniques. A few examples of the team's achievements include their accelerated environmental cleanup programs and the development of a streamlined risk assessment process, which minimize project life cycle and cost, I believe this number or not, saving over $17.5 million restoring 134 acres of land returned for beneficial reuse and the action taken to eliminate, reduce, and prevent exposure to hazards. Elsewhere, folks traveling along 198 between Fort Meade and Laurel pass the signs all the time. But did you know that the Patuxent Wildlife Refuge and Research Facility is open to the public? I spoke with Park Ranger Amy Shoup. It's just outside of one of the gates off of Route 198 is our northern entrance, and so that's pretty close to the base. Um, and you can do hiking there, you can bike, lots of wildlife observation, things like that. And we also have a southern portion of the refuge, just, just down a few more exits on 295 off of Powder Mill Road. And there you'll find a National Wildlife Visitor Center with a variety of exhibits, as well as you'll find additional hiking trails. We have fishing opportunities as well as hunting opportunities. So just call us and get a little more information. Feel free to stop by. In other news, we have an update on the New Exchange Mall. The $37 million facility under construction since December 2012 is now slated for completion by the end of the summer. Garrison Commander Colonel Brian Foley and Command Sergeant Major Thomas Ladder toured the facility last week. In terms of vendors and concessions, here's the latest information we have. The concession section in the front of the store will feature a pharmacy, GameStop, GNC, a flower shop, watch repair, a Paul Mitchell salon, an optometry clinic, a tactical shop, and military clothing sales. The food court concessions include Starbucks, Domino's, Charlie's, Subway, Boston Market, and Denny's Express. In the main store, new departments include a furniture concept shop and a new gun shop. Exchange officials say that when the exchange opens in August, the plan is to demolish the old exchange within three weeks in order to have a finished parking lot by November. You can stay tuned to MeTV on all exchange construction updates. At the beginning of the month, we reported that TRICARE service centers closed at military treatment facilities across the country, and that all of those functions had migrated to www.tricare.mil. Now TRICARE is offering an easy way to stay up to date. Nowadays, there's a website for everyone and everything, and it can be hard to keep up with all the information out there. TRICARE beneficiaries can make staying current on their health benefits easy by signing up for email updates and having the latest TRICARE news and health information delivered straight to their email inbox. Subscribers can customize their account by choosing to receive as many or as few items as they like based on their beneficiary category. Subscribers can even decide when they'd like to receive their emails. Facing an already crowded inbox? Choose daily or weekly digests instead of immediate notification. Creating an account is easy and secure. After entering your email address at tricare.mil slash subscriptions, you can choose your beneficiary category and topics that appeal to you. After that, you'll get the latest TRICARE news releases, benefit changes, podcasts, healthy lifestyle tips, and pharmacy updates from TRICARE Communications. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.